Welcome to another photo tutorial. On this tutorial, I am going to be using my photo map called Smokin' 2021. You can see the name up in the upper left hand corner there. If you want to capture unbelievably powerful GTA gaming photos on that map, be sure to watch this video in its entirety. And uh, I'm going to take you through the entire process from setting up your photos all the way through to editing the pictures. Um, and with that, let's get it started. This map is complicated. Um, this is a map that I created originally back in 2016. What I was looking for on the map, um, as with a lot of the photo maps that I make, I was looking for something unique, some unique feature within the map itself that would lend itself to being photogenic, something different, something that you don't see every day. Those for me um, are often what I like the most about taking photos in GTA. I like to have something that's a little bit different, a little bit striking, something that when you see it, you kind of ask yourself, is this even GTA anymore? <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, for this map, what I found is this right here. At the top of these stacks over here, I'll show you where this map is located. It's at this big industrial facility out here on the coast in eastern San Andreas and uh, on this map uh, you have these very unique smoke stacks the smoke that's coming out of these stacks does not appear anywhere else on the map as you can see it's very thick black it has nice sort of like gray hues on the outside to give it depth and texture so, uh, it's beautiful. It's really gorgeous. And again, it doesn't appear in other places on the map. So I wanted to take advantage of it and uh, create a map that gives you some truly unique photos. And this map does. But I got to tell you, it is not easy. This is a very challenging map to get photos on. Um, if, you, you know, if you're not you know, used to getting photos in GTA, it can be difficult to do it well on this map. But if you follow the way that I do the photos on this map, you're going to get some incredible photos that I promise you will absolutely astound your friends and followers if you enjoy making photos and sharing them on GTA. So first things first, um, that smoke that's in the background, when we go to edit these photos, it takes a few seconds for that smoke to show up. It's one of the things in the game that isn't just always there. It starts out as nothing and as the game loads, more and more smoke billows out and it gets thicker and thicker and thicker as it goes. So, for this, when I start recording, this is going to be critical and you're going to need to do this too when you go to take your photos on here. You got to start recording before you're ready to actually do your editing. So, for example, I am going to start recording now. And we're just going to give it a few seconds, literally. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. That's enough time. Then I blow all that stuff up. Now, as you can see, again, I am recording right now. So I just captured that explosion with all the smoke in the background. And when we do the editing in just a few minutes, uh, you're going to get to see what this produces. So I'm just going to do a couple of quick little couple of quick little poses. I'm just going to have my dude run back and forth like this. As you can see, there's lighting on the front of the uh, stage here, a little platform. So you want to try to manage the depth of your character on the platform relative to that lighting. Make sure that you're not going, you know, sort of too deep back here uh, or your character will not be well lit. But there's something to be said for that. If that's what you're going for, if that's the look you're going for with your character, that's cool too. Nothing wrong with it necessarily, right? creating photos and gaming just like anything else is at work and has a lot to do with your own personal preference and what you're going for. So for me, what I'm going for is this right here. Boom, I'm looking for this dude to look like he's in agony, like there's been a big explosion, like stuff's going crazy over here. So I'm going to hit this little pose right here. That's what I'm looking for is right there. I'm going to do that a few times. And like I say, it's nice to have a little inspiration for your photos, kind of know what you're trying to convey in the photos before you start taking them. So for this particular map, again, there's going to be a huge explosion, lots of smoke, that kind of thing, lots of carnage, right? It kind of looks crazy. Um, so I'm looking for him to do a really dramatic 
pose and that just gave it to me and now he's kind of looking over his shoulder oh sexy boy there we go all right so that's it i've now just captured all the footage that i need and now it's time to go edit the photos but the key that i wanted you to take out of this uh from that introduction of how to get photos on this is that you have to start recording a little bit before that explosion happens you don't want to you don't want to start recording and then hit the explosion immediately because what you're going to get is you'll get the explosion in the background but you won't get the benefit of the smoke and quite frankly you can put an explosion anywhere on gta you don't need this map to do that um, but with this map you get that nice thick rich smoke it's a very unique effect within the game once we get into editing these photos, you're going to see what I mean in terms of the depth, right? You can create a tremendous amount of drama, cr tremendous amount of action uh, in these photos because of the depth that is provided by that smoke, the rain, the explosions. You'll see what I mean here in just a few seconds. So I'm going to load this up into the editor. And uh, as I do that, if uh, you do a lot of photo editing on GTA, I have a bunch of tutorials on this channel. If that's the sort of thing that you like, I suggest you subscribe and go check out some of the other videos that I have on this page. Um, this, what I'm doing here, is pretty advanced, but I have you know a lot of basic photos, uh, tutorials that will help to walk you through you know things like lighting, how to place props, how to remove raindrops, how to get extreme textures, a whole bunch of stuff um, that'll really help to improve your photo game. Um, I can tell you, lots of people on Instagram uh, that are that are you know doing that thing within the GTA photo community have learned a tremendous amount from the videos that I've put out over the years and tips and tricks that I've shared with them. And I don't say that with any arrogance because quite frankly, I learned a lot of this stuff from other people. Um, so people were gracious enough to share with me how they did it. So I'm trying to kind of pass that along and be gracious with what I know to help people take better photos because somebody did it for me in the past as well. So here, you can see I have that stack of stuff in the background, all those explosive crates and boxes and barrels and rockets and so forth. Um, and I'm going to shoot my rocket into it and detonate the sticky bombs. And what we're going to get is a big conflagration, a big massive explosion. Um, and that's really what we want to capture on this map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grip my L1 and my R1 button at the same time. And what that does is that grabs a hold of that marker. If you look down in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, we're going to call that a marker along a timeline. For those of you who uh, don't edit a lot of photos, aren't familiar with the terminology, that's the terminology we're going to use in this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab those, again, by holding the L1 and R1 button at the same time. And I'm going to, I'm going to drag the timeline to the right here. I'm going to move it forward so that I get a rough idea for when the explosion happens. Ooh, I don't have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time for that smoke to develop. So we're going to go all the way back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play here. And what I'm looking for is I'm going to drop another marker along that timeline when I think that explosion has reached its peak. So we're waiting for the explosion right now. And then I'm going to tap X to drop a marker. I have slowed the timeline down. It's not playing at 100%. It's playing at 35% right now because I want to be able to see when that explosion occurs and I want to have time to drop a marker on that timeline to freeze it at that moment. There he goes, he shoots, he fires, explosion, <clears throat> pardon me, and I have just stopped it. So I've put a marker down and what that does is that pauses the advancement of the explosion. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my camera and I'm going to go look over here and see what this is. Oh yeah, we got a good explosion. Oh, and we have lightning in the background. What? Oh my. Yeah, this is great. This is this could not you could not ask for anything better in terms of a dramatic photo right now in GTA. You can see why I put down the different kinds of props, all right? You have missiles back there and they cast off this kind of debris into the air. I have the explosive crates, they cast off different kinds of debris into the air um, and shoot off these little projectiles, these like flaming, they look like little comets with smoke trails coming off of them. Really going to look great in the photos. You have the raindrops going on, right, with the explosion. Look at that reflecting off of the raindrops, which again, just, dra just adds a bunch of little features, a lot of depth 
into the photos and then of course we have the black smoke and lightning in the background so I can already tell you right now I'm gonna get a picture from this angle right here with that lightning over here the smoke over here the explosion over there that is gonna look dope so we nailed it first shot that's exactly what I want now what I need to do is advance the timeline it's gonna cause some of these heavier things to drop out and that's okay it's perfectly fine and I'm gonna be able to move my character around on that platform by advancing the timeline without losing that explosion. So right now, again, I am gonna hold L1 and R1 at the same time to advance that marker that I put down forward. And what's gonna happen is the whole timeline of events on this map are gonna go forward, except for that explosion in the background, except for that smoke. Everything else is gonna keep it moving. So check this out as I scroll to the right. As you can see, the explosion stays there. Hopefully the lightning stays there, the smoke stays there, right? Now the key here is, if I, I can let go of those two markers, I can let go of the L1 and R1 right now, and everything just stays where it's supposed to be. If I hit play right now, all that's gonna disappear. Okay, that's the way that it works. If I tap just the L1 button and go back to the original marker, all that's gonna disappear, okay? So this is critical when you advance and when you're doing editing on this particular map. You have to hold L1 and R1 at the same time in order to advance your character into position for where you want to get your photo at. So again, I got this dude, he's just running around the friggin' map. Here we go. That's gonna let's let's get a run right there. Let's check that out. So we talked about the lightning. Let's go see if the lightning is still there. I don't know if it is, but now I can move my kid. Oh what? What? Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be this is this is too friggin' good right now. This is too friggin' good. We got the smoke, we got the explosion, we got the lightning, we got raindrops, we got everything going on in here right now. Like that is an unbelievable that is an unbelievable scenario right now in terms of a dramatic photo in GTA. I got the lighting prop in the way. It's making me crazy right now. I don't want to see that lighting prop. Look at the lightning, look at the smoke. Oh my goodness, this is great. All right, uh, so that prop is in my way. So what I'm going to do is I am going to advance this a little bit more. Hopefully he runs just a couple more steps and I can get that prop out of the way. I kind of want to get that same thing with him running though. I want all that action, you know what I'm saying? I want all that action. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, but he stops right there, and is he going to turn around? What's he going to do? Ooh, hello. There we go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby right there. Ooh, come back here, dude. Come back here, dude. Okay. So, uh, now we have the option to mess around with filters. Now, you can use you know any kind of filter that you want on this map. I personally really like killer clowns on this map killer clowns does some really cool effects with the sky turns the sky sort of a light blue to pink color depending on how how intense you go with it um it gives really nice effects wow look at that that is so dope so let's go check out the effects right now uh i'm gonna use like i say killer clowns and i'm gonna turn the intensity way down Turn the filter intensity down, 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 down. Let me see if I can preserve that lightning. Yeah, we got the lightning back there. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if Killer Clowns is going to be the right filter for this right now. I think Killer Clowns is going to let us down this time. I'm going to go check out some of the other filters. Divinity looks really nice right there. Wow, look at that. We come up with that a little bit. Wow, look at that. Saturation up a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. We don't want it to look like cartoon characters out here. Contrast, we're going to go way up with that. Make that lightning pop. Make that smoke real dark. Look at that. Turn the brightness down a little bit. Whoo! Look at that. How? Look at that. How powerful is that image? That doesn't even... Tell me that looks like GTA to you. That does not look like GTA to me. All right. So we really have something special here in terms of a lot of drama, a lot going on. Like I say, you got the explosion, you got the lightning, you got the smoke, you got the raindrops, everything reflecting off of that. 
Yo, look at that. Look at that. I wish I wasn't streaming right now because the stream is going to F up my photo capture. Ooh. Yeah, Marco. That's what's up. Look at that. Wow. That's crazy. So, yeah, like I say, that's that's what's special about this map, though, right, is there's so much going on on this map that you can create these really exciting-looking photos. Yeah, that's a YouTube thumbnail all day, bro. But look at the contrast between the smoke and the explosions. And if I move this camera around a little bit, what you're going to see is it creates very different looks, very different. All you got to do is move a little bit closer. My character gets lighter. Smoke in the background, explosion in the background. Yeah, that's what's really nice about this map is there's just so much going on all at once. I'm going to get that light that lightning to kind of follow his body almost like he's like charged up you know what I'm saying like my dude is like this is like Thor about to rush into battle Thor <laughs> this is like Thor about to rush into battle right peep that grab a couple of screen grabs of this real quick just a few more here make sure I time that lightning because that lightning's flickering so it's not necessarily going to appear all the time even the reflection off the gun kind of looks nice there. I don't generally like those kind of reflections, um, but it actually looks pretty good here. Divinity is doing some, doing us some good favors on here. That takes the shine down by going to Thermopylae. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit until I just start to see a little bit. There we go. And then I can come up with the brightness. With Thermopylae, you can come up with the brightness, get slightly different looks. But, nah, I think we hit it, I think we hit it just fine the first time with, Thermo with uh, Divinity. I think Divinity looked really good right there. I think that gave us a really nice photo. Really nice. Okay? So, one down. A couple more to go. And we're going to call this a successful photo shoot. But again, if you're into taking photos, I want you to just be paying attention to all the little things that I'm doing here uh, to compose these shots. Making sure that you kind of get in as close as you can on the subject, on your character. You want a lot of detail, right? Like, if I'm all the way out here, okay... That looks pretty dope. That doesn't look bad, right? That doesn't look bad if I'm all the way out here. But on Instagram or Twitter or other you know apps where you share your photos, if I'm this far away, that character, that's not so dramatic because that little character is going to be about a quarter inch high, right? You don't want that. You want to be real close, zoomed in, right? Get lots of detail because now that's going to fill up that whole screen. When I post this on Instagram, you're going to see his whole body head to toe, right? All that detail, right? So just keep that in mind. Now, next thing we're going to do. Again, I am going to switch back to the Killer Clowns uh, filter here in just a second. I want to get this guy back over here into the next part of the map. So we got one pose down, if you will. That's him running. So I don't need another running you know, sort of photo. What I'm looking for now is going to be him doing his little freak out with his arms out like he's in agony. So come on, bro. I don't even want to get any of these. I mean, you, you can obviously grab as many photos as you want, as many different things as you want, but that's what I'm looking for right there is this. This right here, a little bit of drama, a little bit of... Because, again, there's this huge explosion. It's like a massive tragedy. And he's like... St oh, right there. He's like stuck in the middle of it all. I like the way his fingers are like curled back on that. Now, you see what I, we got right here zoomed out. You got a little explosion over there on the left. You got all this big black wall of smoke, right? Big black wall of smoke. That's all it looks like, right? But watch what happens on this map. This is one of the things that makes it very unique. As I zoom in on this character, watch all the different stuff that emerges as I get closer. Watch what happens. Look at that. Now we got smoke trails from all those little projectiles showing up. Getting closer. Now you got the raindrops reflecting all of that. A little bit closer. Now you got more explosions starting to emerge in the background. Look at the depth on this map of all the different stuff going on. Oh, look at that. He's got like a little flaming hat right there. Look at all that stuff in the background. Big inferno. See what I'm saying? Look at that. Penetrate a little bit deeper, and then look what we get here. Boom. Massive explosion. This is that kind of depth that you don't get on other photo maps. As I zoom out... Again, you can ink it just like that and get massive contrast. Looks like he's getting hit with... Looks like a friggin' dragon's over there attacking him. You know what I'm saying? 
But again, if I go close to him, it completely changes the photo just by moving a little bit closer. That's what's really special about this map, is it just moving the camera just a little bit gives you an entirely different photo. Super dope! <laughs> Super dope in its own regard, but a completely different photo just by changing the angle of the camera and that black smoke. Look at that. This is really a special, special photo map. Look at all of this. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. We haven't even gone to the right yet. Let's go all the way around to the right. Look at the raindrops. Look at the orange from the raindrops glistening. Any one of these things that you're looking at right now on the screen as I pan this camera around would be a super dope photo, right? I mean, just that right there is a great photo. That's as basic as it gets on this map. As we come around, we get more of those dragon balls. <laughs> And again, as I get closer to him, you see more of that explosion emerging out of that black smoke. And this is just with a regular basic filter right now. This is not even with the, this is not even with the um, Killer Clowns filter, which is going to give us some crazy effects all, you know, unto itself. So, yeah, like I say, this is, uh, this is, wow, look at that, look at that, look at that gray smoke, black smoke, bright orange explosion, the raindrops, really special, really special. So I'm going to call that a photo right there, but first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and change to uh, the Killer Clowns. Like I said, I want to show that, I want to highlight that as one of the preferred filters on this map, um, just to get the most powerful results. <laughs> what? Look at that. I don't even have to do much at this point. Turn the brightness up a little bit. And I'm going to take the contrast up more to make the blacks blacker. Make him pop more off of that background. I'm going to take my saturation up a few more ticks. Not too much, though. Like I say, not too much. You don't want it to look unrealistic. How's that for a photo? Straight like that. Actually, uh, you see that explosion down in the lower left? It's kind of washed out, right? Kind of white looking. So I'm going to take the vignette up just a little bit just to give a little bit of depth to that. And it's very subtle. But now look at it. You see how it's a little bit richer in color? Right, has a little bit more of a little 3D effect, but we've lost some of the, his, the detail on his mask. So I'm going to take the contrast down just a little bit, just a little bit. I want to maintain, I want to keep that as high as possible because I want that smoke black in the background. That gives me the great contrast to really make these photos pop like that. So yeah, so that's another photo right there, just like that. And uh, now I'm going to play around with the angles and see what other kind of stuff I can get to emerge by getting closer and further away. And again, don't worry about what you see when you're on this map as you're editing it because with just a little bit of a tweak to the to the filters themselves or a little bit of, you know, change in depth on the camera, you can completely change what you're looking at. So, I know a lot of times when you're editing a photo in GTA, it really feels like, "Oh no, if I turn this up too much or I move that too far, it, you know, it changes." It doesn't matter on this map. On this map, you can, you know, there there are no bad angles, so to speak, right? Like you can just kind of move around a little bit, get a little bit closer. I'm going to zoom down like this. I'm going to take my camera out a little bit, kind of elongate his body and catch more of that background. Wow, what? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Again, doesn't even look like GTA. You know what I'm saying? Look how special that is. Is that not a powerful photo right there for GTA? Oh my goodness! So again, yeah, like I say, if this is a if this is a map that uh, you are interested in using, you can see as I move this camera around, it doesn't. You know, you can. I don't want to say you can't screw it up as long as you capture the explosion the right way. You start moving around and exploring on this map. Oh, what? Let me give it. Let me give it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this power, powerful picture right there. Let me get a little bit closer. Wow, what? Look at that. Look at that. Again, doesn't even look like GTA. This is crazy. That is so good. It's a little bit bright for my taste, so I'm going to take down the brightness just a little bit. You do want to have them nice and bright. I always talk to Kit about this when we're editing photos together. You want it to be just a little bit brighter than you're comfortable with. <laughs> so like as you're editing it on your big screen, you know, your monitor, your TV screen, whatever you edit photos on in-game, 
you want to like be a little bit brighter on that screen than you feel comfortable with. So like right, so like if I'm like if I'm feeling good like with this level of brightness, then I would want to go up one more tick because by the time you shrink those images down onto your phone, it really changes. It looks like you're playing the violin for all the crying triads. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, but yeah, like I say, if you you know if you're really if you're if on, once you sh shrink these down on your phone. You're gonna lose a lot of detail if it's not bright enough. It's not bright enough. You wanna, you wanna make sure that you maximize the potential impact of these photos. So, like I said, when this hits Instagram or Twitter or you know wherever else you share your photos, you wanna make sure that you don't lose the impactfulness of it. Wow, that is so dope. And then, like I said before, just turn the camera a little bit, and suddenly we have a completely different photo. You know what I'm saying? Not better, not worse, just different. Just different. There's so much going on in here. Look at that. Now it looks like he's been hit by... Looks like he's been... Like like his back is on fire, like he's been hit by something. Like he got like he got hit by a meteorite or something. <laughs> and again, all I got to do now is advance the, 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 the marker on the timeline just a little bit, and I'm going to get a completely different look out of him. Was he throwing a punch there? Calm down, dude. But this is exactly what I was going for. Uh, the fo you know the image, you know the, the kind of the context of what's going on is very dramatic. So that's why I picked a quote unquote pose that's very dramatic for the for the for the uh, for the character. It would look kind of silly if everything else is exploding around him and going crazy, and he's just standing there like a statue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the dude is super dramatic. Just like everything going on around him is super dramatic. So that's why I say when you're taking photos in GTA, or anything really, you want to make sure that you kind of know what story you're trying to tell, so to speak. Um, it'll help you with composing your, your images and knowing when you're, when you're done, when you really feel like you've achieved what you wanted to achieve with the photo. So I like that right there a lot. I really like that. I really like that. Let me take down that. You can go as light or as dark as you want on this on this map. You're going to get different different looks, different effects each time. Wow. How powerful is that? What a another just great photo. I know this is not very, you know, exciting to watch. Most people usually come to my live streams to watch me shooting tryhards in the face um, that's not what this stream is about today obviously we're doing something a little bit more creative a little bit different and I just love editing pics on this map I just I love moving the camera around and seeing what's gonna show up like you see that right there look at that nothing 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 all black all black all black you move in a little bit and suddenly more smoke starts to appear. Suddenly flames start to appear. Suddenly you just have a completely different image just by moving the camera a little bit. A little bit. Look at that. So now I'm going to take the brightness down on this. And again, that's going to give me a really dope image right there. Look at that. Yeah. Doesn't even look like GTA. I don't know what it looks like, but it looks... Okay. Oh, lost the fire. Just take it back a little bit. There we go. In fact, I'm going to go a little bit lower here. I want that to be kind of an up. Like he's reaching up into the sky like, oh my god, I can't believe what happened. <laughs> oh my god, they're trying to fry my nuts over, a, over an open fire. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> Powerful. Look at that. Ah. Yeah, that's friggin' dope. That is so dope. Look at that. What a picture. <laughs> Damn guns. Those ain't guns. Those are like BB guns. Po we got powerhouse in the chat. Don't you can't. You got you got you got guys in here with actual guns. This does not qualify. Old skinny boy over here looking like he's on half a soy diet, running marathons instead of pumping iron. Sorry. I'm being, I'm being typical right now. What? Look at that. 
that's my little that's gonna be like an Instagram stories photo just by turning the just by turning the camera a little bit right just changing the perspective on the camera from landscape to portrait now I have something that's a completely different format look at that straight like that perfect perfect Un just incredible incredible what you can do on this map I'm impressed with it. I know it's my map I'm not trying to like hype myself up here like I just I love the game I love you know editing photos on GTA I have a lot of fun with it so for me though I, I also just very much appreciate when you know something in the game is really special and like I say this map is very special based on what you can do with it I mean just look at all of this It looks like his back's on fire there again. That's really dope. I like how that thing is like, that smoke is kind of wrapping around. And then I'm just going to swing the camera around a little bit and see what I get over here on this side. See if I get a better look. Nope. Nope. Alright, so now I'm going to change. Now, if you recall, when we did the first part of this video, I did this pose in a couple of different positions. So like there, yeah, we faced it that way before. Now we're facing it this way this time to give me something a little bit different, right? So that's something, again, to keep in mind as you're recording. Don't just do your little pose in one direction. Turn, the, turn your character so that they're facing a different direction. And then suddenly, again, we get a whole different photo over here because I was utilizing all of this over here as background before now I get to use all of that over there which again is completely unique and different than the other side that's one of the beautiful things about this map is it's just so dynamic every way that you move the camera you get a different a very different effect it's like being on a hundred different photo maps all at the same time you make little minor changes and you're going to get completely different photos. Look at that. Again, just very powerful stuff here. Very powerful. I'm going to take and turn up my vignette a little bit on this to darken up the edges, darken him up. I'm trying to bring up a little bit of detail on him by using that vignette. I don't really like that big orange fireball too much in the background there. I like I'm trying to focus more on those fireballs that are flying through the sky with the black background there. I really think that's very powerful. I like that flame coming in the back there. But again, you just play around with the depth. You go a little bit deeper, you get much more flame. You zoom out, you get much more of that black smoke. Zoom it over here, you're going to get much more contrast from all that white sky up there. But I'm not really loving this angle, so again, I'm going to advance it further, and I know I already did that pose in the other direction. So, let me see what this looks like. Even better. Oh yeah, much better, much better. I'm going to pull back here. Because I want to I want to bring in more of the background, so I zoom my camera out to bring in more of the background. It kind of elongates my character a little bit, but it gives me, again, a much more dynamic background. Look at that! Wow, wow, super dope. So if I look at his helmet right now, it's a little bit washed out. I'm going to turn down my I'm going to turn down my contrast just a tick or two. See if I can't bring his his uh, his skull mask out a little bit. I'm losing a lot of the black. It's not too bad. Take my killer clowns up a tick just to give me more color. Boom, straight like that. Wow. I love this photo set so much. This looks great. This looks really great. And again, now, if I wanted to have more of the black smoke, all I got to do is zoom in on him and take my camera back and I'm gonna get more and more black smoke I mean you can get so much black smoke that like you almost lose everything else you know what I'm saying like you can even lose the character but you zoom in a little bit and it changes everything just little tiny adjustments in the camera completely change everything on this map such a dope map such a dope map alright let me get that over the shoulder look here classic photo classic pose I've been doing for years 
just like that. Everybody does it now, but I've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> Over the shoulder like that, gun down by the side, turn my camera this way, and this is like the, the really fun thing about this is like revealing what you're going to get. Because like right now, I think you think you have a photo composed, right? Normally on a map, you'd be able to know what was going on. You'd see the background, everything that was already there. You you know what I'm saying? You'd you'd be trying to frame it up in such a way that you can get something, you know, that you want to see based on what you can see on the map. But the reality is, is on this map, you don't know what you're going to get until you zoom in. Right now, that's what it looks like, right? But as we get closer to him, you're going to see this photo potentially completely change to something else as we zoom in here more of those raindrops coming in nice orange little sparkles in the background you get closer you got more of that smoke emerging here comes the explosion in the background Let's see here, and again, just a completely different photo as you zoom in on his head, look at that. If I want to bring in more of that sky, I can see the sky is almost breaking through, like if I go deeper, can I get that sky to come through, look at that, yeah, so now you got the deep black from the smoke, a little bit of sky, if I tilt the camera up, maybe I'll get a little bit more sky zoom out you get more smoke less of the explosion oh i just love it i love it so that's the fun thing about this map but yeah that's 36 minutes that's long enough uh if you again uh enjoy taking photos and you're looking for some tips please feel free to subscribe go check out the tutorial playlist under my uh profile on this channel and you're going to find a whole bunch of different photo editing uh tutorials that'll teach you some basic and some really advanced uh, photo techniques that you can apply to get super dope photos in GTA. Turn down the brightness a little bit. Oh, and I'm just going to leave you with that sexy motherfucker just like that. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. That's the end of the stream. I am out of here.